Welcome, folks, to a new Space Haven series. We're doing something a little different this time. In the last one, we did a claimable derelict, and I thought that was really cool, so I'm doing it times two, baby. And these are the derelicts we have. The overall goal of this series is to run as a pirate, a smuggler, if you will, a smuggler of people, things, and getting stuff into places. So we are currently neutral with everybody, except we're hostile with the cultists by default. Uh, we have pirates as our allies. Yeah, yeah. Where's the slavers? So we're, we're dealing with that. My goal is really to work pirate and slaver contracts, if I can, or missions, because I didn't really get to do that in the last one. And we're gonna run a little light. We've got four crew members, this is brutal. The main changes I've made to my base setup are, I've given myself more starting blocks to build out two ships that are derelicts just in case I need all the stuff I can. So tech blocks are set to 35, 15 energy blocks, 125 infra blocks, because you need a lot <laughs> to get things going. Um, a little bit of hyperfuel and some more soft blocks. I didn't really change much else there. We're starting with something a little different for weaponry. If we look down here, I'm starting with two pistols, two shotguns, two body armor, two remote controls, and two turrets, or sentry guns, whatever you want to call them. My boarding actions are going to be involving one dude with a shotgun ready to fight with body armor and the other guy setting up a turret by the tur the airlock. So that's the goal for now with the boarding actions. I re-rolled my people until I had kind of the skills I wanted. I've got one dedicated away team member for each. So mainly a fighter type. We've got King Hunter, who's a spacefaring blacksmith. Really zesty. A lot of potential with weapons and gunning. Um, yeah, good at construction and industry too, but mainly I wanted him for the spacefarer trait and the weapons ability. We have Mark, who's another away team member, a bloodlusty firefighter who's got a lot of weapon skill potential. He may not actually be able to use his uh, shotgun right out the gate. We might have to change up the numbers here until somebody levels up. <laughs> oh yeah, we're only going to have one shotgun. I messed that up. Oh well. Oh, well, we'll grow. We'll grow. Um, but his surrender chance is negative 55 already because he's got five bravery and he's got bloodlust. Like, really good. He's, he's going down swinging. Next, we got Marius Darkheart, who's going to be more of like a bridge officer type, but also a boarder. Uh, he's got two, so if we get an SMG, he'll be good there. He's got some medical skill. He can do bridge stuff. He's got an iron stomach, so he can eat whatever. He'll be fine. T-Tex is my other bridge officer type who's a spacefarer in this case. So if we have to go spacesuits on for combat, man, we're going there. No weapons potential whatsoever. Pretty good perception, though. So oddly enough, he's going to be fairly accurate with that pistol <laughs> and that turret. Uh, but he, he rounds out some of our other skills and lets us run this. So we're going to have two dudes per ship initially. The other things I've changed, uh, AI ship-to-ship -ship battle strategy is hard, so they're going to go hard for my systems and knock me down as soon as possible. I started with the weapons console unlocked. Um, I was able to roll my crew, and derelict ship presence is rare, so finding people is going to be difficult through that means. Right. Other than that, I'm going to get my people kitted out. Uh, what we're going to do is claim these two right out the gate and start building them out. Now well, let's let's look at these. First and foremost. Let's trash that. So, I want to get at least one of the cargo collars, hopefully two. Which are these cargo ports. So, I'm hoping to get two of these. So, if I get a base building mission, I can do that, but I'm going to get one up and running early on. See if I can fit that in. But this one already seems to come with a hyperdrive, which is why I wanted hyperfuel to start out with, man. I needed that so I can get some jumps out of this. I do not have medical research, so you know what that means. I have to go find pirates to get myself patched up if we take wounds. But anyway, let's get our dudes out. 
We'll give you the remote control. We'll give you a 5.7 pistol. You don't get anything else right now. You can carry a sentry gun. Oh, actually, you're not supposed to have that. You're just going to get shooty time. Mr. King Hunter, we're going to give you your shotgun. We'll give you your body armor. Marius, I need you to have a remote control. And we'll give you one of these turrets. Who actually has potential to grow with skill? Oh, neither of you. Okay, <laughs> so you're just stuck with what you got. Okay. T-Tex, I'm going to give you a remote control and a sentry gun. There we go. Go kit yourselves out, friends. We need to get our stuff going quick because I don't want people to jump in. If they do, cool, jack their stuff, but you know, I don't want to do that right away. Is everybody kitted out yet? No. Go grab it. Okay, everybody should be kitted out. Marius, I'm gonna give you a pistol just so you can go help clear the ship on the easy mode. We'll, we'll send you all out. Let's go hit that derelict, shall we? We'll start with this one. We'll Oh, it comes with an airlock. Nice. So I planned all of my resource requirements off of having to build everything, right? All the bare essentials. So that means I'm going to have some leftover blocks, which is nice. Let's move out here and just start blasting. So one of the things you have to consider in these claimables is not blowing up stuff that you need. So don't blow up like facilities gonna watch your fireman. Good old turkey shoot. Done. This one's gonna take a lot to build. <laughs> it doesn't come with much. So this one's gonna eat a lot of my blocks, but this one, this one seems all right. All right, pop in. Nice. Okay, so we started with two kitchens. Oh, I say we already blew up something. Not cool. Not cool, man. t tex retreat. All right, Bridger, go. Oh, found a bug. There we go, we are done. Okay, well, we didn't get any power plants, so we're going to be running dirty on this this run. Okay. The last one, we got an X3 power generator right out the gate, which was really nice. All right, Deuterinos. We're going to start off... Uh, do we want to send everybody out right away? I don't mind clearing that right away. We're going to mine all this stuff. We'll just go straight into that other place and actually use our uh, turrets. Sentry guns, if you will. Okay. Drafted. Hop on your shuttle. Now there's no airlock on this, so we're going to hit the breach. This will be sort of a little bit of a walkthrough tutorial as I play. I'll explain some concepts as I go. It's not totally RP. The hard Nova. Oh man. It's better than having a soft Nova, I guess. Why couldn't this be my claimable man? They got a friggin' nice thing. They got an X1 power generator. That's a rough roll for me. I'm not gonna lie. So far, pretty clear. We're gonna clear this. Grab those, because that's money, man. That is literally money. 
Panda X3? And I can't even get one on mine. Jeez. All right. Well, the cool thing is we have a blank slate for these new ships. Good, we got a power block, a little bit of food, some medical supplies. Cool. We're going to take all this and send it over to the base. And then we're going to recycle everything because we're not going to have a recycler right out the gate. I don't think. We'll see how this plays out. Click on the facility, you tell it to process. We're not going to do a lot of industry. The idea is we're going to steal as much crap as we can and then go from there. All right. Well. So when you get these, right, you clear them. It says you've cleared it. Now you can go click on it and claim it. If you don't want it, you can abandon it and then strip it down for everything. And get scrap. Pretty cool. Claim that, please. And claim that, please. Okay, this one's going to be the easiest one to get into a flyable state, I feel. Um, yeah, yeah, I think so. So if we go to sketch. Good, this is already oriented mostly towards the rear. I'm going to probably build this one out, add the engine spilling off here because we're running a small ship right a one by one we're doing two one by ones probably three because i'm going to build like a slave barge too eventually when we get there but we're not quite there uh this spot we're going to drag the sketch and when you do this it'll tell you how many blocks you need on that bottom right sketch cost 12.2 so that's for the entire thing everything you're trying to build on this ship this will at least seal it up. That is step one. So we're already at 15 whole blocks. I may have underestimated what I need for this. Just saying. This is going to be tough. I may have underestimated how many blocks I need. As I thought. Each of these should be 0 0.1. Oh, that'd be 15. Yeah, it's only six. Why was it telling me I was going to need that much? Oh, I guess it's because I've built. OK, so the problem is, right, the sketch exists underneath here, too. So you can find out how much the entire thing is. Each tile costs 0.1 whole block. That's why I was kind of skeptical. So really, if you do activate a sketch, this will get you your basic shape. And we can seal off this thing. So six is not that bad. And I'll be getting some whole scrap from the uh, other ship and I'll be able to process that a little bit and refine a little bit. So we'll get that going. This one's going to be a little more tough, to say the least. We're going to run a dirty engine on here, I think, because we don't need that much mass thrust. Right, we can run dirty. Hmm. It's going to be kind of a snaky ship. But we're going to get some basic shapes going. I do kind of want to keep the original aesthetic a little bit, but I'm going to build it out too, because I need a lot of space on these. I'm trying to avoid the pizza box. I do not want to do the pizza box. But I always start with the sketch instead of just going straight to building hole, because I feel like it's better that way. This could be a donut ship. Okay. I'll hold off on building this one right out the gate. I'd like to get this ship up and running. We'll focus on that. I'm going to set up a few things here. So if we go to this, I want you to process this. If we get below five of those infra blocks, I think we'll be okay on. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Do I want to grow food? I mean, I might as well. It's going to burn through some of my water. Give me a lot of root veggies. Does these grow the fastest? I would like to get other things too, but I don't really have the skill or the time. Okay, you are set to make those. 
Oh, it's already set up by default, is it? Huh. Interesting. I'll get this going on biomatter composting almost immediately, because that'll start processing poop. <laughs> Essentially, every time your dudes poop, they make bio waste. Okay. I think we're good to go. Now, the priority here is going to be... I'm going to dump this because I'm going to put a big storage there. Uh, the priority is going to be getting heat and then power. So get the thermal regulators in place and then power up it, the system. Which are going to be running a dirty engine on both of these. I don't need both of these, right? We have the room here. This is a pretty decent little kitchen area. I don't mind this. I tend to like to separate my kitchen though, so I might leave the kitchen here. Ah, but this is gonna be a very tight ship. We run a tight ship here, right? I think this isn't bad. And I've got an idea for like a very minimalist bedroom design. Okay, next step, we need to go into scheduling. You always want somebody working. That's the key, so let's add a second shift. We'll do sleep here, good enough. Give you guys a little block of free time there. We'll do free time here and here. And then it'll all be worky work. You can have free time in the middle of your shift. And then what I tend to do, well, we're gonna line up our ships, really. So we're gonna do one, two. I've started just doing this. I know there's better ways to do this eventually, right? You can look up here and see how the balance of skills are on your ship. It's overall fairly balanced. Somebody can do everything. But you're clicking this and you're telling them to get scheduled on this schedule that you set up here. That's a new feature as of, I think, Alpha 16, so really cool. Now we're gonna look at the ships. This is not something we need to worry about right now, but we will in a moment. Priorities are the other thing. Initially, I want everybody to do everything we possibly can. Oh, shuttle's drafted. Always remember to fix that. <laughs> All right, we'll say hello to the TNSS Cracks of Dawn. TNSS stands for Totally Not Smuggling Ship. And the TNSS Off in Space, because nobody beats Off in Space. Or does nobody hear you? Okay, I'm going to delete one of these. I'll come back to you in a minute. All right, well, this ship is finally... Hull complete, we are sealed up as far as I can tell. Let's verify through here. We are, we're building this docking collar here too for the cargo port. At least wanna get one of those up and running for this run. Uh, we're moving the engine over a little bit. I plan on shifting the canvas back, which I'll show you when we jump back one. So I get one more tile up here. This one's gonna have to move back too, but I might just build the hull out over here. I think I've got the spares. Let's look at this real quick. How are we doing on resources? We still got 12 whole blocks, which I think is enough to get things done. This one I want to design a little bit better. We'll keep the airlocks where they are. That'll be kind of the limiting factor there. But this ship, we're doing okay on the design. I've got a little kitchen area here. I always put my gas scrubber in the kitchen because that's where most fires are gonna happen. And if you can contain it there, then you're golden. All right, this is clearly gonna be the bridge. Let's go. We'll start getting things in place. We can always reorganize later. Don't forget, you can always move things, even on Brutal, just don't dismantle them. All right, system-wise, we're gonna get a couple of things. First, we're gonna need power. Just kidding. First, we're gonna need an X1 system core, which I think right there will be fine. I'll put this here and then the power generator right there. All right, we're slowly making progress here. We finally have one of these system cores, which gives us system points that we can spend on the ship. Currently have five free, it looks like. This thing is taking up more than I'd like, but we have it and we'll work with it. So now that that's up and running, we need to make sure we have enough thermal regulators. We're getting one more here. We have a few around, so we need to get 
heat up. That's going to take a little bit. So I'm going to slap another one over here just to plus it up. I want to get this space livable. And then we can worry about fixing everything. That's the key. So we'll get power set up. Boom. That's not where I wanted it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, right there will do just fine. And then we'll do a nice small power node. I think we can cram it like... This is going to be the tough part, figuring out where to put all this crap. But that's where it's going to go for now. Start walling this stuff off. We'll do that. We'll throw a door there. That'll give access to all this crap. Cool. This guy's the high priority. We need to get power on the ship before we do anything else. All right, the juice is about to be loose on this thing. And we've got enough thermal regulators on here already that I think we'll be good. And we're gonna build more. I'm putting the shuttle here. I'm putting the bridge over here. This gives me enough room to throw a few more consoles in here. Let's still wall it up. All right, we have power on here, which means heat should start coming up and that should fix everything. I hope. It's coming up over here at least. This should generate its own heat too, so we should be a little bit better going forward. All right, heat is radiating out from here because there's two thermal regulators there. It's coming in from up here. Nice. Drop the walls, please. All right, everything's coming up here. We should be pretty good on this ship, at least. All right, now we need to get this one running. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have enough whole blocks to really build out another shuttle. But I might do the one shuttle hanger and then do a... Maybe a pot hanger? Because I'm going to need somebody to be able to build at least. We'll see. I'm going to do one of these. One of these. We'll get power up and running. I'm going to get some real Spartan stuff on this ship. There's not much I can do. So you're going to get to live back here, I guess. And we'll move it up here. Yeah, one of the living quarters up here, probably. Okay. We're gonna do the same fancy bedroom design that I did over there. One of the key things to check when you claim a claimable derelict and build it up is you have to turn on auto maintenance again. Remember to do that, but do that only when you have heat back up and running on there. Don't forget. <laughs> Man, I think we're going to be really, really tight on whole blocks, which is why I'm only going to do one of these and one, one of these. I think we can do this. It's just going to be really tight on that. I really need to process all this scrap, too. All right, we're generating O2 on this ship, which is great. So this needs to get repaired, but we're going to turn off logistics to it so we're not burning through it. Yeah, I think we're going to be good. I think we're going to be good. Let's go over rule creation for ships for logistics. This is really the key for keeping things from getting a little too hairy. So if we go to rules on, I'm going to say the office space. To do that, you zoom all the way out, click on it, go to rules. So I've already set up one rule for Hyperium of a minimum of two, you click this. You can send this to empty it, so it'll remove everything from that ship, not individual storage, remember that. You can tell it no more, it'll keep what it has, burn through that, not take any more. This is bring everything here, and this is set at a minimum. You wanna do minimum rules for basic stuff like Hyperium, Energium, water, eventually energy rods and hyperfuel. So this ship, we're going to bring all the hyperfuel here because it's already got a hyperdrive for that. I'm going to do this. We get two of those here. I'm just going to go between both, bounce between them. I want to keep a minimum of, we'll 
we'll say five infra blocks because they take a lot. They get used a lot in the maintenance skill. We'll do a minimum of two tech blocks on each. Cool. Everything else can get transferred back and forth. All food. I'm going to try to set this up. Oh, we need a man. We need some booze, don't we? We're going to do a minimum of four across the board for these guys. Yeah, we're going to need a little recreational beverages, but we're not anywhere near that right now. Okay. What else? So rules wise, we also need. We'll do medical supplies, even though we don't have medical beds. We'll set a minimum of two each for both IV fluids. And medical supplies. Next, I think we'll look at, you need a little bit of carbon on each ship for the gas scrubbers mostly. We'll maintain about five biomatter per ship initially. Now you need this for the algae dispenser, the poop food, the poo food as I like to call it. And I think that's good for the minimum rules. That's all you need on the basic side of things. We're going to transfer everything over here because this ship has more thrust. We are going to the right ship, right? <laughs> Let's select you. Uh, send that to the cracks of dawn. Leave the scrap, actually, because we don't have the means to process it anywhere else. Nice, okay. We need a little bit of storage on this ship, so I'm gonna get a large and in charge storage. Maybe not, I don't have the room for it on this ship. So we're gonna run small boy storage. Seems like a plan to me, we'll run two of those things. That should be good enough for now. I don't have the whole blocks to really expand as far as I can tell. We've got five, which is enough to build the basics here, but they need to get over here first and get used. Well, technically we do have food for, or we do have room for the booze. The booze cruise. Not blues cruise. Or blues clues. We'll get that eventually. I don't even think we have the tech for it right now. Right? No, we don't even have the tech for it, so that ain't a thing, buddy. I might put a little bit of food storage in here, too. Um, I'm going to set this to don't eat. We'll put storage. Apparently not right there. I don't need that vent there, actually. I don't know where to put this. <laughs> it's going to go somewhere, I guess. Right there. There we go. We'll get a little bit of flow there. We'll throw storage right here to handle food of the processed variety, not the raw stuff. Well, now comes the most important task. Do we want the Rosencrantz or do we want the Bravo Flyer? I feel like I want the Rosencrantz. <laughs> We're going to relocate this one to this shuttle hangar. Or the good thing is we'll have the power generator up and running, which will get the heat going on this ship. And we should be good to go here shortly. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. The juice is loose on the off in space. Nice. Ooh. This thing's going to be running on a tight mass margin be pretty bad all right everything's coming up nicely on this ship heat's getting great we're in the like 50s and 60s we're coming up nicely we'll get a few more of these things going and uh, man we'll be ready to rock i might actually move this over here just to get it out of the way and then i might shuffle a few things a little bit we'll see it's about space management at this point because we're in space and we're managing space <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need to get the O2 generator up and running stat. I think that's key. 
One of the ideas I have is I might be able to get away with just the one pod hanger. Sorry, pod hanger. Uh, keep the one I need immediately. So maybe the mining pod, maybe the construction pod, and then delete the old one and build the new one and then reclaim it when I don't need the other one. <laughs> it's going to be costly, obviously, but I might be able to do it. Okay, we can officially have people live on board these ships now. It's not going to be comfortable. It's not going to be comfortable. What's what we're going to do? Who's my... Who's my dude that doesn't care about what he eats? Uh, was that T-Tex, I think? Nope. It's Marius. Has an iron stomach. Nice. Okay, you're going over on the off in space. Ships, um... You're going to live here. Congrats. And I'll give you... You can have Mark, and it'll be Mark and Marius, double M's, uh, and we'll have King Hunter on this one and that one. There we go. We are beginning the transition. Very good. Oh, you know, I don't have hull stabilizers. Shit. <laughs> oh, man. I almost forgot about those entirely. Dude, if we get like micrometeorites or something, we'd be toast at this point. Toast? Okay, let me fix that then. <laughs> There's always something I forget on these. Every friggin' time. Alright, we'll throw the whole stabilizer. I don't know, we don't really have that much room on this ship, obviously. If I move this to somewhere else, don't care where. Right there. Perfect. Oh, I didn't even realize I had that nook. And then I can throw the whole stabilizer there and we'll be golden. Nice. Oh yeah, sleeping comfortably. Nice. So if you want to check the comfort levels, right, you've got a three different categories. You come here, you click on the little chair for comfort, uh, and you default into work comfort. So this is when they're actually doing tasks. Here they're pretty comfortable if they're working on that. Cool. Not great back here, but that's all right. I don't care. These bleed over quite a bit. If we go to leisure time, they'd be in here. Pretty comfortable because there's light and tables and eventually you can get other things that can boost that too and build, you know, decorative screens and other decorations. That helps. Sleepy time only applies to where there's a bed, generally. <laughs> if you're sleeping over here, not a good thing. Really bad if you're sleeping here, but over here, all you need is the table, the bed, a light source helps. So we can boost that a little bit more by giving them natural light. But that's how you work that. How are we doing? Waiting on this. So we're waiting on a few things still. We're still transferring a few things off here too. I'm going to go ahead and stop. That, we'll let that one run out. And that one run out because we are out of fertilizer at this point. So this is all we're going to get, unfortunately. All right, you're done. You're not processing anything. You're no longer idling. I'm going to cancel all these industry tests. We've done all the recycling bits. Apparently not. Apparently we had one more thing. <laughs> I don't really need that, though. It's not a big deal. Okay. I would like to get a water processor somewhere. So I might throw that back here. Ooh, I need water collectors. I don't think it's gonna be a big deal on a small ship that doesn't have that many people, but this becomes a problem. So if you look at this, water vapor is actually not bad on this ship. It's coming up, but it's not bad here. When it gets to a bad level, it'll start damaging facilities, which is not a good thing. It isn't good. All right, give me all that stuff. We're gonna throw it all over to the Cracks of Dawn. We have whole stability, finally. I wanna let these crops finish before I move on. All right, we have whole stability on both. We'll get this pod hanger going. Pod hanger, sorry. Uh, and we'll we'll go from there, I guess.
Okay, we're going to reclaim. I think I need the builder pod more than I need anything else. So we have a builder. Do we want the endurance or do we want the hammer build? Hammer build's better, I think. We have the rock slide or the attico. I'm going to go with this guy. We're going to relocate you to here. So I'm going to need to build my hole out more. More than I'm going to need to mine things, I think. Because I'm not processing anything until we have slave labor on a slave barge. <laughs> That's the goal anyways. Okay. We're going to need a gas scrubber on this thing. And we'll need a kitchen. Of course I can't put that there. Why can I do it over here, but I can't do it over there? Do I need to shuffle these around? I might need to. Okay. Cancel that. Allegedly, I can move this over. And it should work. Unless that only works because that was pre-existing. Oh, now we're, now we're getting a little spicy. Huh. Apparently, I can't build that there. Well, that sucks. I guess you're going to be eating poo food for a bit there, dudes. You'll get over it. Okay. So these are being chopped down. Nice. Stop that. Stop, stop. Waiting on that one to get done. You know what? Good enough. I'm just going to stop it now. We're not going to bother. Alright. Stop processing the poop. We're just trying to transfer the last bit of goods and then we're going to get moving. Why is the temp so bad here? Is that because that's broken? Uh, oh, I got to turn on auto maintenance. Don't let that bite you in the butt, my friends. Don't let it bite you in the butt. How are we doing on relationships? King Hunter and Marius are friends. Okay, maybe I'll switch that up and put you guys on the same ship if I haven't already. Uh, yeah, we'll switch that up. There we go. You're going to go live over there, Mark. Sorry. We've already got friends, man. I need to keep those crews happy, man. You guys got to live with each other for a while, so hey, that's what's going to happen. All right, we're getting the last little bit up and running, and then we can get out of here. Let's look at uh, priorities. I'm going to go back to schedule. I'm going to give you guys another hour of free time in here. Actually, we'll do it right there. And right about there. I want you guys to have a little bit of overlap with your breaks. Okay, we have fully cleared this ship. We have a builder pod. We have a shuttle. I think we are good enough to go. Let's fire up those engines for the first time. And away we go. We don't have the ability to mine, so we're not gonna hit that. I don't wanna go to a military alliance outpost. <laughs> We're looking for pirate friends, man. I'm looking for friends. There's slavers. Could we hit this station already? Oh man, is this doable? This might be doable. Yes, good day, gentlemen. How are you? I need everybody to rest up. This is gonna be kind of a smash and grab, if you will. New mission, huh? Well, that's okay. Alright, how are we kitted out here? Somebody's not wearing body armor. You need to be wearing body armor there, buddy. Because you're going to be in the fight shooting dudes. Hopefully. Alright, you're both ready to go. Cool. We just need you guys to rest up a little bit. Oh, good. We've got T-Tanks. we got friends on both ships, man. Good. Good, they're having a good time. T-Tex, you need to go sleep, man. Get a couple hours of sleep. Recharge a little bit. Then we're gonna go hit the enemy. Alright, you two start mounting up. 
You're already not in great shape, but we're gonna work with this. Right, we're gonna dock you here to scoop up the dudes. Take a two hour break, rest up a little bit, eat some food. All right, good enough. Get drafted, hop on board. Marker, you are in your body armor. You are good. All right, let's turn off the inventory. We're gonna breach and clear. So we can either, <sighs> I'm gonna go in here because they're not gonna be expecting me. So I should be able to dominate this space before they do. And if they have any defenses, like cover objects, we can use those. All right, we are docked. We're gonna breach, go. All right, move. I need a shotgunner. Here. And then I need somebody to provide security. Here. We're gonna have this as team one. This is team two. Marius, I want you to go set up your turret there. So you do to do that, you middle mouse click right here and then you select that little box. I want you to set yours up there, t -Tex. We now control the airlock. Okay, cool. You're gonna come back here. Take cover and we're gonna have Marius come back here. Actually, I'm gonna have you go there. I'm gonna have you go here. You guys defend the airlock. I'm gonna have Mark stack up on the door and pop that door open. King Hunter's watching long. Pretty long in that corridor. We're taking fire. Draw them in. Close the door. Make them come to you. Make them get close. We'll hold what we can. You two take a knee. Mark's already taken a wound. How bad is it? It's regressing. Not great. Not great. We're gonna change it up. King Hunter, you take point. Pop open that door. Alright, retreat. Shotgun, please. You take that. Oh, their captain's already knocked out. Nice. Shit, covers down. Push over here. Shift. Nice. Well done. We're getting flanked, apparently. From somewhere. Maybe not. King Hunter's got that flank. Their captain is down. Nice. Push. You come over here, Mark. You take that cover. Oh, this is dicey. Push in there, King Hunter. I want you to see what they've got. Around the corner. Oh man, well, we've got their captain. We have, we're about to take the bridge. Pull back, run. All right, I'm gonna need backup here. Who has a pistol? You two here, give me Marius with his pistol. Get ready to breach. Not you. You stay back here, T-Tex. You're holding the you're holding the farm here. <laughs> you're defending the base. Nice. Shannon is down. We're still clearing. We're still clearing, man. There's Emma. MZ. Esme. Whatever. You're getting shot. That's what you are. Shit. We lost one. All right, we need to pull back and use the turrets to our benefit. Marius, switch over to your turret. Suppressing fire, please. Turret is holding its own. Whose is that? Is that T-Tech? No, that's, that's Marius's. 
It's doing well. Get him. I want you to peel back, Mark. I don't want you to get shot. I'd rather that get shot. Nice. Now open up on him. Get him. Turret's working, baby. The turret's working. Nice. Need you to go repair that thing. Maybe reduce it. This is working out in our favor. Come on. Come on. Alright, that thing's good to go. Nice. Mark, I need you to push. Are they in the bridge? They are. They're coming out. Run. Okay, they're they're gonna go hang out in there. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna scoop up these bad boys. Undeploy that thing. I want you to undeploy that one. We're gonna set up an ambush outside of this door. Alright, I want you to set up here. Alright, I want you to set up here. Mark, I want you to prepare to go in. What do you have, anyways? Nothing I care about right now. Okay, turret one is up. Turret two is up. All right, I need you two there. Behind your turrets. Pop open that door, please. Good shot. Cross over. Let the turret do the work. Kind of glitching him out, it seems like. <sighs> it's funny. The turret's putting in some work. I like it. Good shot. Come on, you should break. Just surrender. We don't want to kill you. We just want your stuff. Come on, turret. This is great practice from Mark. Look, his skill is growing very well. Nice. Getting some freebies in there. I like it. Come on. Ooh, the armor saved you there, Mark. We got a lot of withering fire on him in there. It's like, oh no. I don't know what to do. I'm panicking. It's good practice for Mark. Hey, we've won the day. Mark, go negotiate their surrender. Do we take them and give them to the slavers that are nearby? I think so. We're going to take all your stuff. Thank you. We've got some acquaintances we need to gain in our smuggling life. All right. I want you to undeploy and pick it up. Undeploy and pick it up. What do we get out of this thing? Well, we still got to clear it. Okay, Mark, I'm going to have you go clear every room on this ship. Mm-hmm. I guess for now what I'm going to do is create a small prisoner space. Right there. Okay. Who wants to go scoop him up? King Hunter. You seem like a great, great option. Scoop that guy up. Scoop him up. Scoop him. Grab that guy. Grab them. Alright dudes, you go clear the rest of this ship so we find out what kind of booty we got. Nice! Alright, this ship is clear, or this module is clear I guess. T-Tex you go there, Marius you go there while Mark goes here to clear this space. While he's off in space. Scoop that guy up. Bring him with you to the shuttle. And we have cleared it. We're gonna dock here. Dump everybody off. All right, you're all undrafted. Hopefully your wounds are good. We're going to steal everything we can off of this. What do we get? What is the haul? Okay. Hyperfuel. Very nice. 
Okay, we're going to send that to the Cracks of Dawn. We'll send everything there for now. Yeah, not a bad haul, man. We got a bunch of food. We got some medical supplies. A little bit of fertilizer. I don't care about that. But man, the hyperfuel, that's key. That's going to keep us going for a little while. And Mark got a little bit of practice doing some stuff. Nice. Loot this thing, please. Okay. Everybody out. King Hunter, you are undrafted. Shuttle, you go about your day. Will these guys survive? Maybe. Who knows? We need to loot this thing fast. That's the key. <laughs> well, it looks like Mark is healed. Okay, good. Their wounds are healed. Awesome. That's really good. That's really freaking good. Wait, are you tending the crops? What are you doing over there? But doing bot- I mean, I guess you're gaining skill, but you're doing botany on their ship that we're not going to maintain. It's interesting. I guess you could finish out their, uh, their crops for them and maybe salvage them? I don't know. It's an interesting thought. Alright, I want everybody to prioritize working on derelicts. I finally built a research bench. I need to get some stuff going for these guys. Probably not Bonnie. I need re I need the medical bed. Let's get the medical bed going and then we'll get the jukebox so we have a little entertainment on the ship. We'll look into all this other stuff up here. We definitely need shields if we're going to be getting into combat, but we'll see there. Well, all right, folks, I think that's going to do it. We're going to run into the Slaver's Guild as soon as we can. Sell off these dudes. Build a little bit of that relationship, and we've begun our smuggling contracts. We'll see what kind of contracts they have, too. I'm interested. But hey, thanks for joining me, folks. If you enjoy this, join me in the next one. We'll be doing two a week initially, Mondays and Fridays. All right. Bye-bye.